quick tech tip here. Uh, basically, wanted to get something out there real quick. Uh, you can run across this, if, especially if you buy a transmission from somebody else that's been rebuilt, or uh, you have a transmission rebuilt by someone. So, anyway, so what I wanted to uh, mention to you, and, and this happens to you know here and there occasionally. So. And there's not a whole lot of information out there because I, I did check real quick to see if that might be the problem. But when you get a pump rebuilt on your transmission right here, now the pump is basically inside here. It's right in the back side of the torque converter. Let me walk this out. All right, so if you look right here, this is your pump. And this guy right here has a couple sets of gears that are inside here. Well, one of them has a flat teeth that line up on this right here. If you can see it real good, yeah, there we go. So if if it's stuck in here on this pump backwards, it is flippable. It, I mean, it literally looks no different other than the inside areas. So when you flip it, it pushes the teeth forward this direction, where these guys will basically push outward. So when you go to install this guy, your torque converter into this unit, you won't slide all the way in. You literally lose a quarter inch of distance. So that is going to stop you from mounting to your flex plate in the back of your motor. Uh, now I caught this myself because like I said, it does happen. Every once in a while you might, uh, your transmission guy gets in a hurry or something and you know, you basically don't even know that this is going on. You go to install your torque converter just like so. You walk it in, spin a little, walk it in some more. You see it going in slowly. You got to keep going, making sure. Now, sometimes you put your hands above and tell if it's right, but you never just know. You keep walking in, at, keep a little pressure on it as you're doing this. All right, so we are seated. But the way to really know truly uh, if you're in place, okay? So that way you don't actually spend all this time. You can double check it real quick and get a measurement from here to here is, well, you take your flywheel here, this point here to this point here to this point here. That is your three points of physical mount to your torque converter right here, all right? Now, the distance from the back of the housing to the face of this is, and I'll just throw this out there, just slightly over seven, basically about seven eighths of an inch. Now, you put a straight edge from here to here, for example, like this. You're looking at about 1.03 inches. Now, I know this because I did look it up, of course. So just looking on a tape measure, you'll see it over, in one, over an inch. So essentially, when you go to install this unit to the back of the engine, you're, no, you're going to have a little bit of space here so that way your torque converter can rotate around. So at no point should your torque converter be bound against this or forced against this. So if you hit this and you're, if you haven't gotten you know, to the actual back of the engine yet and your torque converter is already touching here, then that means this unit's not in far enough. Now the distance you need to measure from here to here is exactly an inch on a 4L80. Now, on the 4L60, 700s, all those other transmissions, that measurement can change and does change a little bit depending on what you're using and working with. But essentially, if you have all your stuff here, you have your flex plate, you have the back of the engine, you have all this, you should be able to know what that is before you actually start struggling to get that in place, especially if you're doing it by yourself, which I do a lot of the time. So. Okay, another uh, quick add-on here I forgot about, uh, or not forgot about, but got in a hurry. Uh, when you finally do get it bolted up and put together, your distance between your torque converter and the flex plate is super important. So when you're looking down here at this, as you can see, that space right there. So the distance right here, essentially, sorry, blocking the light here. So your distance right there. You do not want that to be more than an eighth of an inch. If in case it does come that way, uh, Circle D, this is the torque converter company I'm working with, they did provide us with some spacers here, sort of shims. So we have 
a 0.125 here, and then we have um, one that's a little bit smaller. So, and that's, as you can see, that distance right there is relatively what you want. So it's like probably close to a 16th of an inch, honestly, not an eighth. But that's what you want when you're uh, setting this up, the spacing between your torque converter and your flywheel. Now, as you can see, this moves freely, really easily. So when you bolt this down, if that's not moving that easily, then you have a problem. So you definitely want to fix that. And uh, these spacers, basically, as you run that torque converter bolt through the actual housing there, the hole, into the actual torque converter, you'll put that spacer right there between the two. So that will close that gap and uh, not pull it too far out of your actual transmission. And definitely don't forget some Loctite on those threads. Definitely use the red. I hope that was uh, helpful for you guys and a, a good way to double check your work before you actually go to put it all together. And uh, look forward to giving you some more tech tips in the future. Hope you guys have a good day.